So um, it says here, I'll read it out loud, integrated management planning for the Annapolis River or Valley watershed. The project will be consulted or consultative process with community members and stakeholders in the Annapolis River watershed that will guide the integration of community and stakeholder values, CARP's organizational strategy, and the municipality of the County of Annapolis's economic development strategy toward ecological management actions that support cultural, social, and economic and environmental values. Um, so really what we're trying to do um, had a lot to do with our organizational life cycle, I think, at the time. Um, so we've been around since 1990, um, and Clean Annapolis River Project was really founded around the principle of integrated um, resource management, integrated watershed management. <clears throat> and if you're not familiar with definitions for either of those terms, they can, they can vary. And integrated can refer to a lot of different things. Um, we tend to use it fairly broadly um, and think of integration at a few different levels. So um, really what the way that we think about it and our approach to it is looking at an ecosystem scale approach to managing resources and landscapes and values um, and look at it as the integration of community values. Um, so those are the social, economic, um, cultural values, environmental values but also the integration of um, values of different resident stakeholders within that watershed. So um, we really were founded on a lot of consultations with the community um, on what some of the environmental concerns in the area were, um, what values we should be managing for. And we carried on with our work based on those consultations and what we learned from them for several years. But I think like any organization, um, when you're a young organization, you have a sense of purpose, you have something you're trying to respond to, you figure out what you're trying to work toward and you start working toward it. Um, and especially for a community-based organization or a grassroots organization, um, it's important to have that connection with the community and with the stakeholders in the community, but it's very easy to lose that connection um, and to just continue with the work that you had identified earlier. And that can go on for a couple of decades and then all of a sudden, I think, whoops, um, you know, we really haven't talked to our community much about what they want us to be, what, what we should be striving for that's important to them from an environmental perspective, what's important to stakeholders, how they're approaching things. So I think we got really good at doing <clears throat> like environmental science, environmental projects, restoration work, but we weren't communicating that back and we weren't basing a lot of that work um, on what the community was looking for necessarily. So this project was an opportunity to kind of take a step back and get back into that process. So um, the idea was, and this was uh, this uh, Rural Vitality Grant um, fit that, that idea very perfectly, um, is that we wanted to start to build bridges more with our municipal government, um, who at the same time was undertaking their own strategic planning, their economic development um, strategies that were also built on the same principles of integrated management and integrating for multiple values, and then try to figure out how we intersect, but also bring in the community, bring in stakeholders, and then really try to um, synergize the work that we were all trying to do. So um, I mean, what we did with the money, and to get to the point, is um, we held, um, in conjunction with the county, we held three public meetings. Um, it was open to, to anybody in the public to attend in three different communities throughout the watershed. So these were in Wilmot. I don't know if you're familiar with the Annapolis watershed area, but um, this is east to west, Wilmot, and then probably 30 kilometers um, west of that, Bridgetown, and then another 20 or 25 kilometers west of that in Annapolis Royal. So we're trying to, to bring in different um, demographics from, from, from the whole watershed community. Um, and we were looking to, to answer three basic questions. Of what, in terms of e ecosystem values, do you value? What's important to you that you see that the land is giving to you and that the healthy ecosystem provides to you? Two, what do you perceive as threats to, to those values? And three, can you think of anything that we should be doing about it? So we were just trying to, this was very much information gathering. What, what's important to everybody? And that's important to the for the municipality to know, it's important for us to know if we're gonna have the community um, participating with our organization, supporting us um, in the work that we're trying to do. And then from that, we took that information and came out with the key themes, the, the things that were coming back from people um, most frequently in all the communities, the most responses. Um, and then came up, we, we then organized two stakeholder meetings. So 
what came out, like the two most important, the two most repeated issues that, that people really wanted to talk about were um, forestry, specifically concerns about clear cutting um, and ecosystem loss, and two, clean water, and, and issues around both surface water, clean surface waters and clean rivers, but also their drinking water. So we organized two stakeholder meetings at the county offices with county <laughs> staff and councillors um, and invited people that work specifically within those areas. So organizations, it wasn't quite as open an invitation, but we um, say, um, well, I had a whole list um, on a slide, but uh, for forestry, for example, we had like Forest Nova Scotia. Uh, we invited uh, the Western, Western Nova Scotia Woodlot Services Co-op um, and a few different organizations like that that work directly with different sectors within forestry. Um, and had conversations around these things, what their perceptions were, what things they were working on, and try to figure out ways how, you know, we could all be working together on, on specific issues. Um, and to stick with that example, it was really interesting because um, right now, the County of Annapolis has a, um, a committee on forestry because they also have concerns in some ways with how crown lands are being managed in the province and would like to have more of a role um, in, in figuring out how crown lands within Annapolis County can be managed um, for community values and um, so with all we were able to bring all these groups together into the room and a lot of ideas came out um, that were really valuable specifically to that committee and so a lot of bridges were built in you know a two-hour meeting and um, so there's a lot of taste for continued meeting continued meetings like that um, so I think really this is uh, this project um, Kickstarted more of a process, um, series of relationships. Um, I think we'll, you know, we'll be building on it by continuing with with these kinds of meetings and consultations on a, a semi-regular basis. Um, because in all cases, we saw a lot of value from from both community meetings and from uh, from the stakeholder meetings. <laughs>